Hey guys, welcome back to Dental Dork. My name is Chrissy, and today's video, I'm going to be introducing my friend Janae and her TMJ treatment journey. Today's video will give you a little bit of background on Janae's childhood development, orthodontic history, her TMJ history, her sleep apneic diagnosis, and why she wanted to do treatments. Give us a real quick background on what kind of treatment you're going through. Okay, well, I started out in an orthotic that placed my bite in the perfect position that relieved uh, all the jaw and neck pain that I was having. Cool. So I wore that for several months, and now I've transitioned into a FAGA, which is on the top and bottom of my teeth. Were you breastfed? No. Did you have a lot of pacifier use? Mm. She said I used a pacifier when I was very, very little, but not for long. When I was in the fourth grade, I had really crooked front teeth. Um, so my mom took me to an orthodontist, and he said at that time that I was too young for treatment, but she wanted to go ahead and proceed. So <laughs> they extracted four baby teeth and went down in my gums and extracted four premolars and put me in braces which I had on from the fourth grade until my ninth grade year in high school. Wow. And they did my braces in two phases. So first phase was just on my front teeth, and then the second phase was all over braces. When did your TMJ pain begin? Well, I can remember having an episode when I was very young in my early 20s where my jaw completely locked um, for three or four days. And I just didn't know any better, so I just dealt with it until it popped. It was really painful, pop was really loud, and then my jaw opened. So I think that was my very first indication that I was having issues. Um, but in my late 20s, early 30s is when I started to notice when I would wake up that my jaw would be very sore. The muscles in my face were very sore. And my teeth didn't fit together um, because I was clenching at night. And as I, you know, got older and didn't have any treatment for that, that became worse and worse. Was it just the teeth and the facial muscles or what kind of other symptoms were you experiencing? Well, um, I was having a lot of neck pain and a lot of headaches that I didn't even know were associated with the TMJ issue. So once I went into my orthotic and all my neck pain and all my headaches went away, I was like, wow. When were you recommended to get a sleep study? And what was the diagnosis? What was the recommended treatment? So when my provider started down this path to treat my TMJ, I had a CBCT. It came back that my airway was very, very small. Of course, I had indications of that. You know, I snored, um, waking up tired. So my provider suggested that I go get sleep tested, which I did. And it came back with moderate sleep apnea. So now I have a CPAP machine that I sleep with at night. Do you feel like you've gotten relief with that? Um, I'm not really sure. Because to be honest, I haven't had it for very long, and I haven't been that consistent with it. So, you know, I do sleep with it, but there are times when I don't. So, Do you notice a difference when you sleep with it and when you don't sleep with it? I notice a difference. Like, I go to sleep and I don't wake up. Yeah, I have more quality sleep, I, I would say. Whereas if I don't wear it, I'll wake up several times right. a night. What made you decide that you wanted to get the treatment? Well, first and foremost, because of another medical condition that I had that I had lived with chronic pain, I didn't realize how much the TMJ affected me. But I just knew that it was aggravating. And I was tired of waking up and being like, my teeth do not fit together. Like, this is annoying. And I knew that it was something that affected the way I breathe, you know, and the way I feel. So that was really what prompted me to go down this path. If you want to follow Janae's journey, click like and subscribe to see more of the upcoming videos on her treatment.